Hello, friends. Happy Tuesday. It's time for another episode of Tuesday Live at Five. This is Lena Gersa. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Cambridge, Ontario, Canada. Beautiful, sunny, lovely today, Cambridge, Ontario, Canada. And today I am previewing a soon to be released bundle called uh, Latte Love. No, a little latte. That's what it's called. The stamp set and bundle are called Latte Love. But um, I have to tell you, I, I'm a coffee drinker. I don't know how anybody who's a teacher is not a coffee drinker. It's um, especially as a music teacher, because I'm up and early up, up and out very early in the morning for rehearsals most days. So uh, for me, coffee is just a part of my everyday existence. So when this suite popped up in the um, online exclusives pre-order, I was super excited. And if you have a coffee drinker in your life, this is one that I think you're going to relate to as well. So I'm going to show you the suite. Um, it includes all the good things that we expected a suite. And uh, we're going to make three cards today. And then I have a bunch more that I'm going to show you. I might have gotten a little carried away playing with this week this weekend. So um, lots and lots to share with you today. So if you are joining me, whether live or on the replay, give me a hello. Let me know you're out there. Uh, last week, we had some tech issues with um, the Wi-Fi not cooperating. I'm hoping that um, we're not going to have that issue today. <laughs> I've changed my setup a little bit, um, so we'll see if maybe that will help, uh, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, if you are watching, let me know. I see we've got Alberta. Hi, Sonia. Thank you for sharing. Hi, Laura. Welcome. Um, so as I said, we're, I'm going to show you the suite, and uh, we're going to make some fun projects, and we'll get to it. I think I'm just going to flip my camera and stop yapping, and away we go. So let me just switch layouts here. There we go. Slide this over just a little bit. There we go. Hi, Kathy Angus. Nice to see your name come up. Hi, Jean from Maryland. Hi, Holly in Wyoming. Welcome, welcome. All right, so here we go. This is the uh, Little Latte Suite, and oh my goodness, I absolutely love everything about the suite. So I don't really know where to start. We'll just start with the bundle because uh, it's kind of the cornerstone of the suite. So we have the Latte Love Bundle. Uh, we've got a regular sort of coffee mug, and then we've got a latte cup as well. We've got our um, foam, our fancy foam in our latte cup. Uh, we've got some coffee rings and a spatter and some coffee beans, a spoon. This is to stamp the coffee inside your cup. We're going to see this one in action. I'm actually going to show you how to do reverse image stamping today with this one as well. Um, and then we've got some sentiments that um, are perfect for a coffee type uh, project. So this one's on me. I'm going to show you how to make a cute little coffee themed gift card holder for you know, to package up a Tim Hortons gift card if you're here in Canada or a Starbucks card if you prefer Starbucks. Um, so really fun. And honestly, isn't coffee the best part of every Wednesday? It is mine. I got to tell you. <laughs> so that's the stamp set. And then, of course, we have some fun dies. Uh, we've got open dies that cut out the stamped images. But then we also have fun dies to create a French press and a coffee carafe. Um, I'll show you a project later on where I've, I've created a French press. And then a couple of little espresso cups. And as I said, images or dies to cut out the stamped images. So just a really fun bundle. And then we have, of course, all of our accessories. So I'll get to the embellishments in a minute. But let me show you this fun DSP. Um, so 12 by 12 DSP, as always, we have a pattern that has all sorts of latte cups with fancy foam. We've got, oh, doesn't that just make you, oh, yum, yum, yum. That just looks like the top of my espresso. And then we have the same kind of swirly pattern in uh, petal pink. We've got some spatters. We've got some all sorts of mugs, European and North American. And then we've got a fun plaid. Now, this plaid is great for all things spring. To me, I just want to make Easter cards with this plaid. <laughs> but anyway, I digress. Here we go. The backside of all of these fun patterns, we've got coffee beans. And we've got these itty bitty cups and spoons, this cute little pattern. We've got a fun stripe. There are our little hearts in our latte foam. We've got some Calypso coral coffee beans. They're a little bit smaller than the, the uh, colored ones. And then we've got some coffee rings. Um, now, I should mention that the dies do coordinate with the DSP. Believe it or not, these little coffee beans can be cut out with the dies. There's actually two of the dies that cut the, um, the sort of group of beans. And then there are three of the single coffee bean dies. So you can cut out yourself a whole lot of coffee beans. Not to mention the fact that we also have dies that coordinate with our latte cups. So this die here will cut out 
your kefa latte. Okay, so lots of possibilities and cross coordination with the dyes. And then we get to the cute embellishment. So we have this fun natural trim, this polka dot natural trim. It's half inch, I think. Uh, one centimeter, three eighths inch. Um, so cute little polka dots on one side, plain on the other. Love this trim. And then we also have some fun embellishments. These are the adhesive back swirl dots. Don't they just look yummy enough to eat? They do have that sort of swirly pattern in them. So really fun there. All right, so those are that those are the products in the suite. Now I should mention this suite is not currently available, so don't run to my online store and try to to order it. It will be available on March 5th. So I'm giving you a special sneak peek today. Okay? So you have to wait another couple of weeks before you can get your hands on this one, but I just couldn't wait to share it because I had so much fun playing with it this weekend. All right. Okay. Uh, I see a few more have joined us. Oh, Liata does not drink coffee. <laughs> you know, when I was pregnant, I couldn't even stand the smell of coffee. I couldn't drink it. I could not um, do anything. Um, I couldn't. I couldn't even walk down the hall at school if somebody had a coffee in their in their cup. Um, all right, we've got Jean. Hi, Deb. Hi, Jill. Oh, Connie, it's not available yet. It's available for demonstrators um, to order. It's part of a pre-order. Um, and new demonstrators that join can actually add it to their starter kit for new demonstrators. But it will be available to everyone on March 5th. Um, there's Krista. Hello. And Joyce. Hello, hello. Hi, Mary. All right. Hi, Rosemary. Hi, Diane. Okay, we are going to get to it. So the first card we're going to make, I just noticed my phone's a little cockeyed here. Let's see if I can straighten that out a bit. Okay, um, so here is the first card we're going to make. This is super easy. It's all DSP. Um, the only stamping really is on the sentiment here. So I did this earlier today, and lots of you commented that you really, it caught your eye. So let me show you how easy it is to make this project. So I'm gonna start with a piece of this fabulous DSP. Get all of my little bits out of the way. So this is this sort of coffee spatter, but then I've also embossed it using the spatters or stripes and spatters um, embossing folders. Now these are a celebration freebie, still available until the end of the month, so the 29th, that you can redeem with a $60 um, qualifying order here in Canada, okay? So I've just added a little extra texture to that coffee spatter um, DSP piece. Now this is four by five and a quarter inches, okay? Then I have a piece of those little itty bitty coffee cups, okay? So what we're going to do is take that and we're gonna cut it on the diagonal. So I'm just gonna move some things out of the way, make room for my trimmer here. So I'm gonna take and line up the corners, opposite corners of my DSP piece in my trimmer. Now here's a tip, when you are trying to cut on the diagonal, do not start with your blade up here and try and run it down because what will happen inevitably is you're gonna bend this corner. It's not gonna cut cleanly. So what you wanna do is have it all lined up where you want it and then actually start your blade in the middle of your piece. So just start it, press down, and then go in both directions and that will give you nice clean corners. Okay, um, I could not understand. I used to watch people making all these fun angled cuts and I could never figure out how to do them properly. And then somebody explained that that's what you do. And I went, oh, and look at that. I cut it the wrong way. That's okay. We're gonna have our card go the opposite direction. <laughs> this is why I shouldn't talk and stamp at the same time. All right, our card is gonna be reverse image, but that's okay. So I'm gonna take those two triangles that I've created and glue them in opposite corners on my embossed DSP piece. So here we go, a little bit of glue, and we will pop one on here, just with the edge, and then the other one's gonna go in the opposite corner. And of course, if you were trying to make it the way my sample looks, you would angle it the opposite direction when you are putting it into your trimmer. Had I been really paying attention to what I was doing instead of talking, it would have been okay. But you know, we've established that I can't talk and stamp at the same time. And add a little extra glue there, make sure that sticks nice and flat. Okay, now that is going to get adhered to a pecan pie card base. Um, it's five and a half by eight and a half, scored in the middle at four and a quarter. So we'll go ahead and fold that in half along our score line. 
Oh, Ineka is a coffee addict. Adelheid is a coffee holic. <laughs> Lots of coffee addicts here today. You are in the right place. This is a great suite for the coffee lover or addict, as the case may be. So I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the back of my embossed panel, and we are going to go ahead and glue that to the front of our card. What I love about this um, little bitty coffee cup pattern is that it's non-directional. They go any which way, so you don't have to worry about making sure you get them straight. Okay, so that is our background. So I'm going to reverse, so I'm gonna put my, my mugs down here so it doesn't look like they're kind of floating in space. So I have cut several of the mugs from the DSP. Um, you can use your dies to do this. I actually just sat and fussy cut a bunch. I actually sat and watched the lease game yesterday and just sat and fussy cut a whole sheet full because I knew I was gonna use a lot of these. And uh, I thought, well, I may as well just go ahead and Possibly cut them all out. So I'm going to cluster my three um, latte mugs here in the bottom left corner because I am doing a mirror image of my sample and they're all gonna get popped up. So we'll start with the one that's on the bottom. One, two, three dimensionals. And we'll tuck that in right about there. And then we'll go with the next one. Now this one, I need to think about the fact that it's going to overlap. So I'm only going to put two dimensionals and it's going to overlap my uh, my first cup. So I'm going to just put a little bit of seal where it's going to overlap. Yeah, somebody else who needs their coffee to wake up in the morning. Yes, I was up at 430 this morning. <laughs> it was um, one of those mornings when I had to get dinner ready in the crock pot because I was going to be live with all of you tonight and the cleaning lady was coming. So I had to tidy up. See, I shouldn't talk and stamp. This is dangerous. Um, the cleaning lady is coming today, so I had to tidy before she came. And then I had band practice. So it was just one of those, okay, let's get up at a stupid time and get everything done before work. So that's what I did. All right, so there are our mugs. Now we are going to stamp our sentiment. So this little bitty label, this cute little label with that sweet little stitch detail is the smallest um, label die from the Everyday Details, the new um, die set. So we are going to stamp a sentiment from the stamp set in early espresso ink on our pecan pie label. Now my early espresso pad, it's getting a wee bit on the dry side and I actually ran out of re-inker. I have to order a new re-inker. But the sentiment just fits quite nicely on that label. Then I'm going to take my little spatter image and I'm gonna stamp off and just add a little hint of spatter to my label, cause you know, no naked labels. And that is that. So we're gonna layer that. This little piece of early espresso cardstock is one by two and a half, I think. Yes. And it's gonna layer just right behind our sentiment label. So we'll add a little bit of glue and pop that on. Right about there looks good. And then that is going to get um, popped up on the front of our card. But before we do that, we're going to add a little linen thread bow. So I'm going to take my thread. Now, do you see how curly this thread is? This is my hot tip. There's two ways you can do it. You can take the edge of your bone folder and just kind of run it against your um, thumb and your bone folder. That will do it. But you can also just take your nail. I do that lots of times too. Just take my thumbnail and it straightens it out and it's much, much easier to work with when it's not all curly, curly. The curliness gets worse as you get lower on the roll as you start to use up your linen thread. So um, I tend to use that little trick a lot because I can't stand working with uncooperative thread. So there we go. I'm gonna take and add a little glue dot to the bottom right corner of my label here. So again, I'm doing this backwards from my sample because Lena can't think and talk at the same time. <laughs> And then that is going to get adhered to the front of our card. So we're going to add a couple of dimensionals to the back of this. And then a little bit of seal there where it's going to overlap our latte cup. And then we'll pop that on. Whoopsie. Make sure we get our bow nice and tidy there. And make sure that's straight. There we go. And then the last little touch on the front is to add some die cut coffee beans. Well, it's not quite the last, second last touch is to add some die cut coffee beans. So again, these are cut from that um, sheet that is all coffee beans. 
And we're just gonna go ahead and add a little dab of glue and tuck some coffee beans in wherever we want them. So we'll maybe put one up here. And then I'm gonna put one right on the corner. You know what, I don't think I want one right on the corner of the label on this one because it's gonna be in the middle of my coffee cup. So this one I'm just gonna change up where I place them a little bit. There we go. Okay, so that is the front. Now I'm gonna show you how, to, how I did the inside just because it's kind of fun and it's a great way to use up those edge pieces um, about uh, that you get on the sides of the DSP. So I'm gonna take my um, uh, four by five and a quarter inch basic whites and I'm gonna start by stamping some spatters in that upper right corner and I'll do a couple stamped off as well. Just like that. And then I'm just going to take my little pieces that I've cut from the edge and glue them in the corner. So we'll start with this one. It's going to go right up here. And I can't see white on white, so I have to pick this up and get up close to it. And then this one's going to kind of tuck up in the corner here. I'll trim off the excess. So we'll tuck this little guy up in here. And again, I want to cover up all of my spatters. So we'll go up just a bit. And then I'm just going to trim off this extra little bit that's hanging off the edge. There we go. And pop that inside our card. Easy peasy. So that's a quick little way to use up those edge bits of your um, DSP. You don't want to waste them. Um, so this is a great way to put them to use and decorate the inside of your card at the same time. So there we go. There is our finished card number one. Oh, no, I lied. We need our little embellishments. Almost forgot these guys. We're going to add a couple of these little guys in the pecan pie. So we'll put one here and maybe one up here and one up here. There we go. Now we're done. Almost forgot the best parts. Okay, that's number one done. We'll set that aside. And let's move on to number two. So number two is just, I love this card because this is exactly what I did with a friend of mine this weekend. Um, I have a good friend from uh, university who I don't get to see very often, but um, it's always great to sit and have a, so let, not a catch up, not catch up as in cats up. You know what I mean? <laughs> have a visit, let's put it that way. So I'm gonna show you how to do this reverse stamping. So let me grab my goodies here. So I'll show you the image on the stamp case. So this coffee cup, this one here, is what is stamped when you use the stamp as is, okay? Now I'm gonna show you how to get this reverse image because I like having that sort of mirror image to balance my project. So to do this, I'm going to use my silicone mat, okay? So I actually have two silicone mats. One is goopy and covered in adhesive. This one is what I use for, um, reverse stamping. So it's a clean mat, okay? And then I'm just gonna take my cup image and ink it up with some Memento black ink. I'm gonna get it good and inky. And then I'm gonna stamp it and I wanna take my time. I'm gonna let it sort of really sit and press it firmly on my silicone mat, okay? So you can see my stamped image there. And then all I'm gonna do is take a piece of white cardstock. This is a rather large piece. You could just use a small little scrap. Uh, and I'm going to place it over my image and I'm just gonna burnish really well. Okay, now you wanna make sure that you don't smear. So you don't wanna like let the, the paper move, just hold it firmly in place. And then when you flip it over, there's your reverse image. Look at that, so easy. And a great way to do mirror image stamping. So that's my hot tip for you for that one. I've already actually gone ahead and stamped and colored one, but we are gonna color this second one. I'll show you some tips for coloring this. Um, so I have stamped in, as I said, the memento black, and then I stamped that odd little image, this little one here um, in early espresso to give me my coffee, okay? Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and use my Lost Lagoon. And so I'm gonna start with my light. And I'm just gonna quickly add a really rough layer. I guess I'm not really worried about trying to 
get a solidly colored image. I'm just really trying to get this damp enough so that when I add my dark, it blends really easily. So I'm taking my dark now. I'm going to be a little bit more careful because I do want to stay in the lines. And I'm coming up the ribs of the cup, coming across the bottom, and then a little bit more on the sides. And again, use the shading that Stampin' Up! artists have given us on the cup to decide where you want your shadow to be, right? They've kind of given us a really good guide of where the shadow should be. But you can see how easily the, the color, the dark color blends when you've already got a layer of the light down. So then I'm coming back with my light. I'm going to blend this all out. Pull some of that dark color up. And fill in the rest of my image here. Now I always like to go carefully around the top. I don't want to color over top of the coffee that I've stamped. Because I don't want it to blur. I'm just coming around the rim here. Okay, this is all using the light. I didn't do any dark on the inside of the rim. Um, and then to color my handle, again, I'm gonna start with just a quick bit of the light. Come in with the dark. It's gonna be darkest right close to the mug. And then I'm also gonna do the inside of the handle. And then again, we'll just fill that in with the light. There we go. There is our coffee cup. And uh oh, that looked a little iffy. My camera cut out there for a minute. My Wi Fi signal is not looking great right now. Here's hoping we stay in business. All right. Um, so I'm going to take my um, spatter stamp and my early espresso ink. And I'm going to add, oh, no, I'm not using early espresso. Almost did the wrong one. We're going to use pecan pie, not early espresso. So here we go. I don't know what it is at this time of day. Rogers must do maintenance or something at this time of day. Because every day at this time, things get a little iffy lately. All right. So we're going to take our spatter stamp. And I'm going to stamp just a few spatters, tone on tone. Um, in the upper left, and then again in the lower right corners, just like that, okay? Then I'm going to come in with my um, sort of coffee ring stamp, and I'm going to add a few of those as well. There we go. I need one more up here. Feeling a little empty. Okay, so then we are going to come in with some early espresso ink and do a little bit of ink blending. So we'll bring the espresso. I've got my large blending brush, so I can apply lots of color in a hurry. And I'm going to start just in one corner, and I'm going to come on around the edges. This is why my early espresso pad is not is <laughs> getting dry because I've been doing a lot of blending with it. Um, so I'm just coming in, adding a little bit of that dark, yummy coffee color all the way around. And I just love the way the early espresso ink works on the pecan pie cardstock. So we're just going to come all the way around. There we go. I'm not worrying too much about the middle because again, most of that is going to be covered. Okay. Next, we are going to add a deckled circle. So this is cut using the deckled circle dies from that fun sort of marbly swirl DSP pattern. It's got the little hearts on the back. Um, and you'll notice that I didn't get the whole thing, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna cut part of that off. So we're going to glue that. Um, on our card, actually, almost forgot, we need some ribbon first. We're going to add our little bits of ribbon first. So I'm going to cut, I don't know, four inches or so of ribbon. 
And I'm going to cut the two ends at an angle. So we'll cut one here. We're gonna cut some off and then I'm going to go ahead and layer those so that I get the same angle on both. Let's get that so that they're pretty much the same. Oh, don't like that. There we go. Get rid of the fluff. And then these are just going to get adhered to the front of our card. So I'm just going to take my seal and add a couple little strips. And we'll stick one on here, hopefully relatively straight. And then our second one up, I don't know, a quarter of an inch or so. The texture peeking out from behind that circle. So again, we're going to use some seal just because we are adhering it over top of that somewhat bulky ribbon. It's not super bulky, but it will adhere better with the seal. And then I'm just going to flip this over and trim off the overhang. There we go. All right, now we have our two mugs. Where did I put them? There they are. They are going to be just having a little tete-a-tete -tete here. So the back one is going to get glued flat. So we'll add a little bit of seal right about there. And then this one in the front is going to get popped as soon as I figure out where I buried my dimensionals. Two and three. And then that, they're going to overlap just a little bit there. Okay, now we're going to stamp our sentiment. I'm using the same sentiments as I did on the last card. This time I'm stamping on some crumb cake cardstock. This banner has been cut using the stylus shapes dies. And once again, I'm going to come back in with my early espresso and hope there's still enough juice in this pad to give me another sentiment. Now I'm going to stamp this towards the left end because I'm going to trim off the extra because we're not going to need this whole banner. All right. So that is going to get tucked just in behind our coffee mug, just about there. I'm going to add a little bit of liquid glue to the back of this. And we're going to just pop that on now again, we want to make sure it's straight. So I like to use my grid lines to help me get my pieces straight when I'm assembling my card. And then again, we'll trim off that overhanging excess bit. There we go. And then that is going to get glued to an early espresso card base. It is four and a quarter by 11 inches, scored in the middle at five and a half. So we'll go ahead and fold that in half along our score line. And then add a little bit of seal to the back of our panel. And we're going to pop that on and look at how well it blends with that espresso background. That little bit of blending we did. I just love how it just sort of pulls it all together. Now this time I've stamped my coffee beans in early espresso ink on early espresso cardstock. So I've done a little tone on tone. I'm not sure how well those show. There you go, you can see the image. Um, and we're gonna tuck a couple of those in again. So we'll put one here. We'll just tuck that in behind our coffee cup. And then one more right there. Okay, and that is that one done. Now on this one, I actually, instead of putting a basic white mat inside, I actually pulled in the crumb cake. I like the look of that. It just kind of carries some of that crumb cake vibe from the front and did a similar kind of technique with um, the pecan pie ink on the inside. Okay, so that's that. Hey, Donna, how are you? I thought you'd like these cards. <laughs> it speaks your language, my cappuccino loving friends. All right. So our last project today is I had to make a gift card because of that fun, this one's on me sentiment. So this little gift card holder is super simple. So it's an easel card, folds flat like this, and then it actually pops up like that. So it looks like this, but it opens to have a little pocket for a gift card. Now I didn't have a coordinating gift card. This is the closest I could get. So it doesn't match super well, but on the inside, it says this one's on me. So let me show you how to make this super, super simple gift card holder. 
Um, so I'm going to start with my card base. So this just starts out as a regular card base, four and a quarter by 11 inches. Okay, it's scored in the middle at five and a half. And then we're going to add one extra score line in the middle of that segment, which is at two and three quarters. Okay, so we've got two and three quarters and five and a half. I did put all of these measurements in the video description, so you can refer back to them later if you decide you want to try to replicate any of these. Okay, so we're going to start by folding in half, just like we would any other card. Okay, and then this two and three quarter inch, did I say two and a half? This is two and three quarters. If I said two and a half, I apologize. This is two and three quarters. <laughs> the measurement in the description is right. Um, I'm gonna fold in half and make a little mountain. Okay, so you can see how that's gonna form my easel for my gift card holder, okay? All right, so now we are going to go ahead and add our pieces on the panel. So I have another piece of that fun little coffee cup pattern. It's two and a half by four inches. We're going to go ahead and adhere that there. And we also have another piece that's two and a half by four of this fun stripe pattern. So they're just gonna get adhered to those top and bottom panels. So we'll go ahead and add a little bit of glue here. And pop that on, just like that. Okay. Okay, we have a rather annoying user on here. I'm just blocking him so he can't continue to make comments. So hopefully he will go away. Yeah. I'm blocking him. There we go. I'm hoping that takes care of it. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add our next panel. So we'll go ahead and glue that one on. I love this stripe. It's perfect for so many different occasions. We'll pop that one on, just like that. And then we're going to arrange all of our latte cups. So we've got lots of latte cups here. Did lots of cutting from the DSP. So we're gonna go ahead and arrange these. Now, I use some of the edge pieces on this one, but I didn't have any more edge pieces because I, well, I used a whole sheet of DSP. <laughs> these little latte cups. So I'm gonna have to trim some of these down, but that's okay. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim a little bit off of this sort of snowflake patterned one. And I'm gonna trim a little bit off of this one. I'm just cutting straight across. So this one is going to get adhered down towards the bottom. This one's gonna come on this way. So we're really just arranging our um, latte cups kind of trailing down the left side, okay? So let's go ahead and add our first one. There we go. And these are all getting glued on flat. So I'm not worrying about popping anything up. We are gonna pop up our sentiments, but that is all that's getting popped on this one. This little guy we're gonna tuck in behind. Now I need to take care to make sure that I don't put glue where it's going to overlap that top panel because we don't want to glue our card so it doesn't fold up, right? So there's that one. And then we'll add a little bit on here. Trim a bit off that. That one's gonna go that way. I love this paper too, Lietta. I just love the colors and I love that it's um, like specialty coffee. It's not just, you know, good old fashioned brood. Um, I have so many friends who love specialty coffee. And so I love that I can send them a latte rather than, you know, just your regular old cup of joe. So there we go. There are our images. So now we're going to go ahead and add a few little, actually, let's do our sentiment first. We'll do that first. So I have my little half inch strip. So this is again, just scrap that you get when you cut your four by five and a quarter inch um, mats for the insides of cards. So this is just a half inch. I think this is five, you, you don't need a whole lot, uh, but it's just scrap that we're gonna cut down anyway. So I have my early espresso ink and 
my thanks so much sentiment from the stamp set. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp that just like that. I'm gonna keep my ink handy because we will need it again in a moment. Um, and then we're going to cut um, the ends at an angle. So I showed this trick a couple of weeks ago, but I'm gonna show it again. So if I wanna get my um, ends at the same angle, I'm going to cut one, and then I'm going to take that cutoff piece and use it as a guide to cut my second one. And that will ensure that my pieces are, my ends are cut at the same angle. Okay, so you get that nice uniform look. Now we're also going to add a little bit of ribbon. So I'm going to cut my ribbon just a smidge longer than my sentiment. So right about there looks good. I'll trim this. And then again, I'm going to cut my ends and attempt to have them at the same angle. This one I'm not going to take the time to really worry too much because we're not gonna see much of it. So this is going to get adhered to our card again with a little bit of seal. So we're just gonna run that across and stick our ribbon on. And again, those nice stripes in the, the DSP help us get our piece on straight. And then we're going to add some dimensionals to the back of our little sentiments banner here. And this may be overkill, but because we're gonna be sticking it over top of um, layering over the ribbon, I'm using three dimensionals to make sure that it stays put. Okay, and then we're going to add some more little die cut coffee beans. So for these, I'm actually gonna just take and take, put my glue where I want to stick my pieces. And then I'm gonna take my take your pick. Whoops, as soon as I take the end off my take your pick, and I'm gonna just pop them down where I want them. So there's one. And let's do a single one up here. And do that guy there. Another one there, and then we'll do a single one as well. Whoops, stay stuck. There we go. My finger is sticky. Okay, so there's the front of our card. Now to do the inside, just move some things out of the way here. Um, I have a four by five and a quarter inch piece of basic white cardstock. And then this is two by four inches. Okay, so that is going to form our pocket. Now I forgot my little one inch circle punch. So I'm just gonna grab that so we can nip a little circle out of it. So I'm going to just take and mark two inches. I don't have a pencil, but I'll use my take your pick and scratch a little tick mark at two inches. And then I'm just gonna take my punch and I'm gonna nip just a little bit out of that edge. And that's gonna give me a little um, pull tab for my gift card. Okay, so that is going to get adhered around the, along the bottom edge of my white cardstock. So I'm gonna take my liquid glue and I'm going to be very careful that I put it right close to the edge. Okay, because if you put it too far in, you're not going to have a large enough pocket for your gift card to fit. So we're going to stick that on. And then that is going to get adhered inside our gift card holder. So we'll pop this in. Just like that. There we go. And then we're going to add our little sentiment. So this is a circle that's actually cut using the die. So this includes a circle die. It measures uh, about one and, what is it? One and three eighths, okay? And that is going to fit perfectly inside our latte cup. So I'm going to stamp my little sentiment. This one's on me inside that circle. So again, I'm using my early espresso ink. I'm gonna stamp that in the middle of my circle. And then that is going to get adhered to the center of my little latte cup here. So we're gonna pop that right in there, just like that. And then this we're going to pop up because that is going to be our catch for our easel. So we'll go one, two, three, and get rid of our backings. And then that is going to go right in the middle of our pocket. 
And then again, we'll add a couple more. Now, what I like to do is actually stand this up so I can see what it's going to look like standing on my desk. And then I know where I want to add a couple more little coffee beans here. So I'll put one there and one there. And there we go. There is our finished gift card holder. Easy peasy, you like that one? It's super easy, uh, but a great way to showcase that fabulous DSP. All right, so there are our three projects for today. Let me show you some more, because as I said, I might have gone a little crazy with this stamp set or with this suite. I actually really, really love this suite. All right, so here's a super simple one. And this was actually put together from a bunch of scraps I had left lying around after I'd made a whole bunch of cards. Um, so totally different color palette, nice and springy, uses some of that fun plaid DSP. And um, a lemon lolly coffee cup, nice and sunny. And then this one, I know Valentine's Day is over, but how great would this uh, be for a Valentine's card for a coffee lover? Um, so we've got our, our um, foam art, but then we've got you're the best part of my day. So this one, I actually stamped the uh, latte mugs and die cut them and um, then stamped the um, foam in early espresso ink on pecan pie cardstock. Okay, so there's that one. This one. Again, just a different color palette, a little bit brighter interior with the Calypso Coral coffee beans in the background. And again, we've got a nice little collection of latte cups in the bottom corner there. Here's another one. This one, again, had a whole bunch of scraps, odds and ends lying around on my desk. So I thought, well, let's just do something with them. So here we go. Um, these little bitty square or rectangles are, I think, one by two. And I just used them so that my mugs had something, not the coffee beans. It was a little less busy behind them. Okay, there's that one. And then this one is a fun fold um, that one of my um, Stampin' Symphony members showed us, uh, I think about a year ago during a team meeting, uh, but it pulls apart like this. So it opens like that, but it, you can actually stand it up. Let me get this on here. So it stands like that. It looks a little bit larger. It's almost like a, almost like a diary or a um, panoramic card. Um, and here is that cute little French press. I've cut the, the glass from window sheets and then um, used espresso cardstock for the coffee inside and basic black for the hardware. And then there's some little espresso mugs. So just lots of fun. Had a great time playing with this suite. So again, this suite is available starting. Let me just get back to my face here. Um, this suite is available starting March 5th. Tuesday, March 5th, and will be available online only. So you won't find it in the catalog. It will be available um, in my online store. And all of my links are in the video description. Okay. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for joining me. Thank you for your kind words. I so appreciate you all. And I hope you have a great week. Um, I will see you next week for another episode of Tuesday Live at 5. Bye for now.